This episode of Never Too Small is sponsored by Renderforest, an all-in-one branding platform for you to create amazing content online. I was looking for a living space and an office space that is near the city, my parents' home, and it's also low-rise. This project is our reinterpretation of the traditional shop house. Instead of having a building with offices or shop at street level and home at the upper levels, we split the unit and have an office and a home besides each other. The apartment is located at Serangoon Central. Serangoon is in the northeast region of Singapore and it's close proximity to the city. The building is a public housing with shops on the first floor, completed in 1988. William lives here. It is also the office of Studio Wheels, our architectural practice. The idea was to create functional living and working spaces that are fully equipped and independent of each other, while connected by a common space. The apartment was formerly a single-use residential unit with two bedrooms and two bathrooms. A wall runs right through the center of the original space. We removed the ceiling. It created opportunities to add a loft with a bed between the living and dining and plenty of storage above each of the spaces. The entrance is the common foyer for the home and office. There is a slimline bench and louvered windows above that to open to the exterior of the apartment. Glass sliding doors provide entrances to the office and to the home. The living room sits below a sloped high ceiling. There is a sofa which can be turned into a guest bed. And we have a painting by Singapore-based Malaysian artist Kaylee Go. A flanked state mobile hangs from above and a sister by Santa Co provides low-level lighting by the sofa. Next to the living room is where our largest piece of built-in furniture in the home is located. We call it the space marker. Within this space marker is a walk-in wardrobe for clothes and other personal belongings. The dining room sits between the kitchen and the wardrobe. It is furnished simply by a white dining table that can sit up to six people. We built shelves on the other side of the wardrobe for a coffee maker, microwave and bar fridge. Under the window is the kitchen area. There is a stainless steel sink on the counter with under-counter storage. On the side, we made an area for the washing machine. Across the washing machine is an apron sink with mirror and under-counter storage. In the bathroom, there is a toilet and an overhead shower. This bathroom is completely lined with blue mosaic tiles. A metal chain inspired by rainwater chains drains the condensate water from the air conditioning system. A bed of loose pebbles conceals a floor trap below it. The bed sits above the space marker and is essentially a platform with futon on top. A flip-up storage is integrated within the platform bed. The platform has a latch with integrated uplighting for artworks. A pivot window panel opens up with a view to the office. The office is the largest and most voluminous space of the unit. Three tables join up to form a long work desk for this open office. Built-in furniture, finished in white oak veneer, integrates bookshelves, pantry and a concealed door leading to the office bathroom. 
Opposite this built-in furniture is a ledge for material samples, above which hangs artworks, primarily photographs, that documents the development of Singapore from villages to housing estate. In the centre of this space is an island counter with a wash basin. It is an informal space for having a chat while making a coffee. At the end of the office is a simple kitchen with an integrated hob and oven and overlooks to a courtyard of this building. Behind the concealed door in the wall panelling is a compact bathroom. In it is a wash basin with a mirror, a toilet and a shower. Like the other bathroom, this one is also completely lined with similar mosaic tiles but in olive green colour. Our small space design philosophy in this project is to create a co-sharing environment that is space-saving and opens visually and physically to the environment. In this project, we looked to compact storage solutions to maximise storage capacity. Keeping the furniture along the perimeter of the rooms leaves open and voluminous spaces. With the upgrading and repurposing of this previously single-use residential unit, it allows for flexible use over time, which will sustain the property over the course of its life. This episode of Never Too Small was brought to you by Random Forest. At Never Too Small, we love sharing creative ideas. So when we found out about Render Forest, we thought it could be a great way for designers, architects, and content creators like us to easily create great looking content. Render Forest is an easy to use, all-in-one online platform that allows you to create professional websites, videos, logos, mockups, and more using a simple drag and drop interface. We've been hugely impressed by Render Forest's video maker utility. You can access a diverse range of templates you can use to design and export stunning video in no time at all. So if you're looking to get started on your own creative endeavor, we recommend you check out Render Forest. We wish we knew about it when we were starting out. Render Forest has a special deal for never too small viewers, so you can get creating sooner. Save 20% off your monthly or annual Render Forest plans by using the code in the link in the description. Thanks for watching. To receive updates on our latest episodes, please subscribe and click the notification bell. And if you're an architect or designer with a project we could feature, please share it with us at nevertoosmall.com slash submissions.